the the number one line for the Wings, Larkin, Kane, Debrinket scored the easiest goal I've ever seen in my life. Where they just they went through the defense. That was a, that was a warm. That was a that was a warm up drill. Uh, tic tac, tic tac yes. toe. You do that in like three on ones in practice. Yeah, but they did it That's like the in goalie, a game. That's when the goalie like doesn't even move because he's just like you guys are idiots. And and maybe it's me. Maybe it's me being a little extra. Maybe it's me overselling this, but DMAC, feel free to check me on this. When they run those three as as the first line, am I crazy to say that there is not a better line in hockey? Yeah, you pump it a little bit. Yeah. Pump it a little Who bit. Who is it? Who's better? You can't take away what's going on in Edmonton with McDavid and Hyman and and whoever else they put on that line, whether it's Kane or whatever, like this production wise. You know, you you look you look around. We'll look at McDavid and Ranton and and. But what what I'll say is that could you arguably say that's producing that one of the top three to five best lines? And in we the don't league? get it all the time. Absolutely right. But the fact that do they have something, and where do you see where they have something magic is in the power play and the results. So the fact that what I love though, Neil, and I love Spenny put holy shit, Red Wings have an absolute wagon. They got a wagon throughout the the line the mm-hmm. lineup. And the way that that Lalong can mix up different guys, the way that you know what, like subtly, anybody talking about Rasmussen playing with Raymond, you know, Valeno, different stuff like that, getting you know your younger guys, your role guys, sort of stepping up, right? Like here's the one thing, and I remember how it used to be when we'd have the grind line, and the grind line would start going off. Well, teams like you can't ignore us; you focus on us, and then what happens? Oh. <laughs> There's Shanahan, Eiserman, and Federoff yeah. mm-hmm. just shoving it up your rear end, right? Like it's a different beast, so you got to worry worry about di- different things. I think the success of these guys, yes, is uber talented or whatever, but is because of the balance to the rest of them, where you don't, where you can't just straight focus, right? You can't straight focus on it's like playing Edmonton. You can't straight focus on McDavid. You got to focus on Drysaitel too when they're not in the same line.